Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a Knockout City video. Uh, just a quick little moment, I want to say thank you guys for 2.5k subs. But, uh, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Let's get on with the intro. I played this game in beta and I also bought the deluxe edition. I just think this game is like, is really good. It's a really good game. It's fluid, it's strong, it has a lot of potential. I'm really hyped up about it and, you know, if I wasn't, I wouldn't be making a video on it, so. I really enjoy it to the point where I want to make consistent videos on this game. Uh, anyways, you're here to learn five new things you probably didn't know, and if you do know some of them, well, just do me a favor here, yeah? Because <laughs> like, may maybe you don't know one of these, so just, just watch the video anyway. By the way, I just fixed the black bars around my screen today. Yeah, that thing was uh, bothering my entire video, but the next video that I bring to you guys won't have black bars, but you know, let's just begin with the video. So at number 5 we have, the ball goes up to a total of 6 charges only. I'm gonna be calling it 6 charges because I don't know what else to call it, but it's little arrows on the ball. It cannot go past 6 from what I've experimented with, and it's good to know about this, but you know, I, I don't think you'll ever be in a situation that like the ball goes up to 6 charges, but it's good to know regardless, so let's go on to number 4. At number 4 we have, your friend is a 1 hit KO. Some of you might already know this, but you know, new people might not know, so I thought I should include this in the video. When you roll into your friend as a ball, if they throw you, it can insta-kill anyone, even if they have two hearts. But if they catch you, it can be, well, you know, it can be very dangerous. They can end up throwing you off the map, uh, you know, but still give this one a go. This is fucking hilarious, so just try it out. At number three, we have a weird one, but you can go all the way up the tower with the moon ball. You can do it without the moon ball as well, however, you can't go up to the antenna. Only with the moon ball you can, and I found it out today, so yeah, it's cool, give it a try. You can like see the entire game, it's it's pretty cool, but like you can't go anywhere, I tried. <laughs> I tried everything. Anyways, on number 2, we have a more strategic one. The bomb ball goes up to only 10 seconds, so if you wanted to exactly time it, then throw it, uh, you should throw it at at least 8 or 9 seconds. Count from 1 to 10 and throw it at 9, and you'll see exactly what I mean. You can catch a lot of people off guard with this one, and they won't be able to catch it because, like, you know, they're not really thinking. And if you time it perfectly, the, the bomb will get to them, and they won't even have time to throw it back, so even if they do catch it, they're fucked. So, try it out. At number one, we have something a lot of people surprisingly don't know, but if you want to get someone out quickly, you can lob them. If they're in a cage ball, if you lob it, it can go quickly into the ground, killing them instantly, instead of throwing them high up in the air or taking the time to get to a ledge. Alright guys, I think that wraps up my video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to make uh, more videos on this because... I absolutely love making this video. I want to keep making videos on this game. So, you know, if, if this gets good feedback, I'm probably going to make even more videos after this. It doesn't matter if it gets good feedback or not, but let me know what you guys think. You know, it's always a great help. What do you guys think? Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.